Okay, so you got your trophy ram down. Now we're gonna show you how to do a European mount. So we have our skull with the membrane attached that's been cleaned of any meat and whatnot. And we're gonna show you how to get those horns off. Um, they're different from deer euros, which is what I'm showing you now. The antlers fall off yearly. They grow from the tip down to the base. Um, and a ram actually grows from the base outward and maintains its you know uniformity of the lifetime of the animal uh, and grows bigger and bigger every year um, so this is a deer head that we did a euro on i'm going to show you the ram skull now and uh, how we get those horns off this bone that goes pretty much the shape of that it goes down right about to where my thumb is and once you boil it, you just kind of slide it off. There's the bone on top. You want to boil all that membrane off of there, uh, or else you'll just get rot underneath of the skull. That's what you don't want. The bone will deteriorate. It'll smell up your house. That's just bad things that you don't want if you want a euro to turn out right. So we've done the one side. We're working on the second now, just waiting on the water to boil. and. Uh, I'll show you how to get that that horn off of there. All right, so we got our horn boiled. This side is off already. You can see the bone exposed. Um, this one is still attached pretty good. Sometimes it takes a couple whacks. Get yourself a nice uh, soft, you know, soft or a slow blow or a mallet, and just give a couple nice whacks on the top the back and the front maybe down inside the core and that horn should slide right off see how far it goes down in there you see that membrane in there that's what you want to boil off you don't want that stuff festering in there you got to get these horns off if you want a euro to turn out right so we're gonna get this cleaned up and we'll get it boiled. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of OxyClean, just your standard OxyClean, probably about, try and make it a, about three quarters of a scoop and uh, this is just going to help disperse any oils that come off the skull and any membrane that's left over in any crevices all right there's our skull it's ready to boil we cleaned most of the membrane out and uh, the skull is pretty clean it was pressure washed that helps a lot getting the uh, some of the meat and leftovers off of uh, the skull. Just hit it with a pressure washer. So we're gonna set that down in there. So we're gonna set it in there upside down. And uh, we'll give her about 10 minutes. All right, so we're all boiled. <clears throat> Everything's cleaned off. I'm gonna finish it off with another pressure wash and uh, get any remaining bits off of there. I'll show you uh, a semi-finished product. Right, here's our pressure washed ram skull. Everything's clean and free of any membrane, meat. And now we're gonna do a peroxide treatment. So this is our ram skull after the peroxide treatment. The peroxide treatment is essentially just a 80% peroxide available in your pharmacies usually is where you can find it. Just small amounts over the white of the skull. Uh, don't do too much on the actual bone of the horn 
but on the skull, just to whiten it up, and around the teeth, you can do a little extra. But don't short yourself on dry time. Get yourself a, a good week at minimum for both the horns and the skull. And now we'll show you reattachment. All right, so we got our ram head dried out. Our horns are dried out. See inside there, there's nothing white. It's all brown. You can tell that it's dry. The smell's gone of the OxyClean and peroxide. And you can see the skull is completely dry. The bone is completely dry. And uh, what we're going to use is a small bit of two-part epoxy. Um, this was a 3M two-part epoxy that I mixed. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're not going to apply it directly to the bone. I'm actually going to put a small amount down inside the base. Also put a little here. Looks a little watery than it actually is. And a little on this corner. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that horn back on. Okay. That's one side on and glued. Everything's clean and free. And our glue goes up right to about here, right up to about here. Just want to secure it enough around the bone to where they don't come loose. So we'll go ahead and glue this other one. <coughs> Get this thing done. Gonna let that dry, but that is your completed European Ram skull mount from start to finish. Some people do a little more with the teeth, and we may tackle that at a later time. But uh, now you can preserve your trophy and get her up on the wall.